A single drop of water, generating electricity five times, a year's output, enough to power 100 million families. After building some of the world's tallest skyscrapers and longest bridges, China has just launched one of the craziest infrastructure projects in human history. On July 19th, with a thunderous blast, construction officially began in the lower reaches of the Yarlung Tsangpo River in Tibet, a moment that shocked the hydroelectric community. This isn't just another dam. It's a $16.7 billion megaproject, the most massive and expensive hydroelectric endeavor ever undertaken by mankind. The plan is to build five-tiered hydropower stations along the wild, untamed river in western China, with a total installed capacity of 60 to 70 million kilowatts and a staggering 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year. That's the equivalent of 33 Hoover dams, generating enough electricity annually to power nearly one-third of all industrial energy consumption in the United States. Once completed, this project will rewrite the energy map, not just of China, but of all South Asia. Some in China are already calling it the Mount Everest of infrastructure. But just how insane is this undertaking? The Yarlung Tsangpo River, which originates on the Tibetan Plateau, flows at an average altitude of over 3,000 meters, making it the highest major river on Earth. In southeastern Tibet, the river makes a colossal U-shaped bend, dropping more than 2,000 meters in elevation. That's the height of six Eiffel Towers stacked together. It is the single most ideal terrain for hydropower. But are the Chinese building dams directly across the river? No, it's far too extreme. The terrain on both sides of the river is dangerously complex. No heavy machinery can even get in. So how are they doing it? By carving a 30-kilometer tunnel straight through the mountains, turning the wild, winding Yarlung Tsangpo into a furious, vertical underground river. But that's not all. Inside this tunnel, engineers plan to build not one, but five hydropower stations in a chain. As the water rushes through, it will generate electricity at every step, five times back to back without pause. Historically, the best hydropower systems have managed to capture around 65% of a river's energy. This project, it's pushing that number to an unprecedented 85%. And hold on, this isn't just about five hydropower stations. Behind it all lies something bigger. First, this project will supercharge China's energy transition. Once operational, it will generate the energy equivalent of 150 million tons of oil every year, helping China cut back on 90 million tons of coal and slash carbon emissions by 300 million tons annually. China is ready for it. A nationwide ultra-high voltage grid is already in place. Once the dam goes live, its power will surge across mountains and deserts, reaching China's booming western cities, where even the pandas can bask in air-conditioned bliss. The impact also goes beyond electricity. This super project will ignite a wave of economic opportunity in Tibet. It's estimated that the region will gain at least 2.75 billion US dollars annually once the project is complete. Over 100,000 new jobs will be created. And in once remote counties like Motok, hotels, restaurants, even nightclubs are rising from the ground like never before. The project is set to be completed by 2035. By then, China will be a nation truly powered by electricity. And there will be more electric cars, more charging stations, and more chances for Elon Musk.